Our next guest is putting a spin on the fashion world with an African style. We welcome founder of Ashanti Beads and designer Aman Ojeri. Welcome you, you to the show. How you doing, man? Thanks so you got the me. whole display up here. Huh? Most definitely. This, most well, definitely. some of the display that you have. Some of the display, You yeah. got the beads and all that stuff. Yeah, right? most definitely. What made you want to get involved in uh, designing and styling and, um, you, know, you know, like what you do? Yeah, since I was young, I always been in, into um, the arts and fashion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when, um, it's always been in me. But just recently, about, I say, three years ago, um, I was up in college and I was, you know, doing my nursing thing and uh it wasn't really going well so i i just tapped right back yeah. into my you know my natural essence you mean you didn't you? help design the new <laughs> nursing gowns and all that stuff with <laughs> no man no they didn't they wouldn't allow me to uh -huh. but um like i was saying um three years ago you know i just tapped right back into my mm -hmm. my art sense and um i came out with this and basically i just started out with a bracelet which is this bracelet right here mm -hmm. And um, the charm is from Ghana, West Africa, where I'm from, yeah, yeah, and it means right. um, it means a fear God or the omnipotence of God, uh -huh. and it's called Genya Man. And um, basically, what I did was uh, I started working with a nonprofit organization back in Ghana, mm -hmm. which helps um, build libraries to help me get off the ground. Oh, and um, beautiful, most definitely. And um, mm. uh, I started doing that to death for about a year. And the Ghanaians and you know worldwide and back home were getting common and used to the Shanti uh -huh. beads, you know what I mean? And this bracelet right here, I mean this charm right here is, you know, is very famous in Ghana where I come from. It's like yeah. a, a real a, something that means something. Basically. Big up to Ghana, West Africa. Most yes indeed. Yeah. All <laughs> right. So um give us a little bit about your your background. You said you, you were into nursing, but before that you Yeah, um, like I was saying, like the reason why I came, why I really came up with this. Were you born here or in Ghana? No, I was born in Ghana. Uh -huh. I was born in Ghana. I was born in Ghana. Um, I came to America when I was six years old. You know what I mean? My my father was already here, so um, it was just me and my mother back home, and we came over here. Your mother was, was into designing and everything. No, Amazing. she wasn't actually. She's actually just church singer. She, you know, oh, yeah. that's that's really her talent. But you know. Um, this is really just derived from me, just mm -hmm. being a fan of fashion and a fan of the arts. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, that's basically well, what, what it is. What influenced you? How did you? My people. Um, ba right now, like I started with the bracelet, mm -hmm. and after the bracelet, it just went on and on and started, you know, just evolving. Right now, I have these shirts, and um, what I wanted to do was kind of put Ghana on the map or Africa on the map. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel as though um, we have, we don't have a lot of representation in the world. You know what I mean? So this being the infamous Ghanaian sign, I felt like it was depreciated, you know? Um, so you want to bring it back? Right, I want to bring, bring it back, back and yeah, innovate it. There's a different color right there, you saw that? And yeah, the yeah, that was, the that, was, that was the yellow and the green one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you can see we got some socks right here too. <laughs> we I'm got just trying to, you know, innovate and- Socks from Ghana? Yes. Yes. All right. And um, it's been depreciated for so long that I just wanted to bring it back and bring back its value. You know what I mean? Um, so what I did was I made, I started making these shirts and I turned it into a, a designer line from Africa, which we don't have a lot of. African designer shirts from Ghana. Right. Is that one that you wear? This right is now? one that I'm wearing right now. Uh, and what, what symbol is that? Is that the same? It's the symbol? same symbol. Yeah. It's the same symbol, which means fear God. Um, fear God. Fear God. Yeah. It has a, a, a religious connotation to yeah. it too, which yeah. makes it deeper. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Um, so I made like. So you got a God fearing shirt, God fearing right. heart. Right, right. God fearing, because <laughs> mom got you into singing in church. Exactly. And everything. You know, I grew up. I grew up in the church, um, infested home. So, uh -huh. you know what I mean? It wasn't anything to to uh, of uh, you know, it wasn't anything that was foreign to me. Uh -huh. You know. So, so you're in America, but you want to continue your culture because a lot of people like forget about their culture a little bit. They forget about so it. So this helps you stay connected to exactly. To and Ghana, it's, West it's crazy. You point out, you point out about the connection because even when I was younger, 
You know, it wasn't really cool to be African. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't really cool to be African. When I came here, which was around like 98, 99, around there, you know, Africans was getting made fun of, you know what I mean? Especially yeah. by other black people, you know, which also descended from Africa. And um, that came from a lot of people, right. African Americans came from West Africa. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I feel like this here will bring an understanding to, mm -hmm. you know, where people really come from or we connect to your culture we connect to your culture yeah. you know what i mean and um basically that's what it is you know like i wanted to point out also the uh price of it as i was telling you before i feel like the sun is depreciated meaning that especially when people from ghana see the sun they just Look at it. And a lot of people don't over. know, right? A lot American. of people don't. Um, American. A lot of people. American people don't know, but a lot of people do know. At the same time, you know what I mean. So what I did was I made the shirt a hundred dollars, mm. so that um, it could bring value to it. I felt like it has the same, you know, um, it has the same uh, vigilance as you know a Gucci yeah. or a Louis Vuitton or uh, YSL, which we as a community always pour our money into. You know what I mean? I feel like we should pour our money into something that means something and something that we can also connect to. It's more meaningful. Right, right. right. Are you a king over in Ghana? I am a king over in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did they, they put you through the whole... As a kid, they did, but you know, I, when I went back, I didn't really go back to um, where... They did that process. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Because I have some friends that went over and they did that whole thing. Yeah. They sat them on the little stool. Yeah, they, they did, did that, that when I was younger. The whole ritual. They did that when I was younger. Um, but hopefully when I go back, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll <laughs> hold me down. <laughs> Yeah, All right. Where can we get it? Give us some information. Um, you can get the, the clothing at AshantiBees.com, uh -huh. www.AshantiBees.com. Um, you can follow my Instagram, AshantiBees. You can reach me at gmhvisions at gmail.com. And line, village. Village. The line is village. Um, it's called village for the um, basic uh, meaning that we we come from we come from the village you know yeah. what i mean and when people hear africa or the village they have a negative connotation towards it you right. know what i mean but i wanted to change the um the aspect or the the view of the village and, mm. and change it to village funny story um quick story i told uh, somebody about the line and they actually thought it was from europe oh, yeah. they actually thought it was from italy or something so i i, I like that you know what i mean i like mm. that we have something where people can um, look at and have high value of, you know. One more I mean? time, where can we get it? AshantiBees.com. AshantiBees.com. All right, give a big yeah. hand, everybody. Yeah. Aman Ojeri. Thank you. All right, founder of Ashanti Bees and African designer, Line Village. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by, all right? We got to take a quick break right here, but uh, up next, we'll give you tips on keeping fit all your life. Next. <laughs>